All right, what is going on, guys? It's Apollo One, and today we are back with another nuclear gameplay with the new DLC weapons that just came out yesterday. Now, this time we are bringing you a nuclear on the map combine in a four-man party with the Marshall 16 pistol, which is basically the executioner for Black Ops 2. But toned down, honestly, it's not as good as it used to be. At least that's what I've heard because I haven't used it myself. Uh, now, the gameplay is by Carnage Big Bro. Before we get further into the gameplay and the class setup and all, definitely subscribe to Carnage Clan if you are. Are new and if we could shoot for a thousand likes that would be absolutely insane you guys have been showing so much support recently so i think a thousand for you will be nothing uh, but it only takes half a second to help support us and this is a pretty crazy nuclear to get so it definitely deserves the credit and this is in core as well which makes it even cooler obviously um because core or hardcore it might be a little bit easier honestly i don't even know but um just throwing it out there and it's in a four man it's on combine which is a smaller map which i wouldn't expect since it's so hectic uh with a weapon like this it's pretty hard but carnage big bro is definitely a reliable pub stomper a very good uh, player so definitely um, we'll get into him in a second but yeah also you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram links will be down in the description so the gameplay like I said very very impressive Carnage Big Bro definitely check out his channel his link will be right at the top of the description below uh, and he has got great stuff on his channel so definitely go over there to check him out and he is using this class setup that I'll put up on screen so you guys can pause it and you can screenshot it or whatever so if you have this weapon you're not doing too well with it definitely copy this down because obviously it works he got a nuclear with it and there's not many nuclears out there with this weapon right now uh, so definitely throw that class on and see if it works and makes the gun any better for you and uh, let me know down in the comment section below if it does uh, but basically his strategy he's kind of staying in this building he's not running out too many times the times that he does he kind of gets back to uh, cover or, or a location where he is more protected uh, but take in mind he is a very very good player and he he does like to rush and he's playing very very fast paced that's the way you kind of have to use this weapon you can't stay in one one place because eventually someone will outgun you if they know where you are so you have to have that uh moment of surprise on them so that they don't know where you're coming from where they're expecting you to be you kind of just have to pop up in their face and and uh, shoot them because it is like a shotgun pistol so up close right in front of them they're not going to have a chance you're going to be able to one shot them easy and they won't be able to do anything especially if they have like an assault rifle it's it's not going to happen because uh, you basically have like a compacted shotgun right in their face and uh, like i said it's kind of like the executioner so i would i would use it if you use the executioner in Black Ops 2, I'd use it the same way and you'll do fine. Even the same kind of class setup, if you can kind of figure out what you use in Executioner, you can see what's kind of uh, comparable in Black Ops 3, the same kind of attachments, you can throw those on and I'm sure you'll do fine with that. Uh, but I will have the class setup up for you. And uh, that's pretty much it for the gameplay. It's definitely insane. Very, very few of these are out there. And if you guys missed yesterday's video, I'm going to talk about those real quick. Some of the other weapons that came out are the crowbar, the uh, crossbow, the uh, assault rifle, and a couple other melee weapons like the sword. We actually got a nuclear with the iron gym or the crowbar uh in black ops 3 already so if you want to check out that video i'll link that down below we got one with the assault rifle as well so i'll have that down there as well those are two gameplays you definitely want to check out especially the crowbar it's ridiculous uh there's it's the world's first as well there hasn't been another yet um so these new weapons are pretty good people are enjoying them they are very different i guess i could say uh the assault rifle is not the best it's kind of like the mk14 from modern warfare 3 and then we have the execution which obviously is not that great of a weapon and then we have a couple melee weapons that are all basically the same they just kind of are skinned differently they don't really play any differently from each other uh, other than it's just kind of cool to run around with a sword cool to run around with a crowbar and then there's the crossbow which is fairly good it's a fairly decent weapon it's not the, the greatest thing ever but yeah so I want to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below of these weapons these new weapons which one has have you gotten have you been able to do well with it and which one is your favorite so if there's one that you don't have but you think it would be really cool to have it let me know what that one is down there in the comments as well so that's pretty much it for today's video guys hopefully you enjoyed once again if you could drop a like that'd be greatly appreciated check out carnage big rose channel it will be linked right at the top of the description below and i'll talk to you guys later